I had a dream, which was not all a dream. The bright sun was extinguished and the stars did wander darkling in the eternal space, rayless and pathless, and the icy earth swung blind and blackening in the moonless air. Morn came and went and came and brought no day, and men forgot their passions in the dread of this their desolation, and all hearts were chilled into a selfish prayer for light. And they did live by watchfires, and the thrones, the palaces of crown kings, the huts, the habitations of all things which dwell, were burnt for beacons. Cities were consumed, and men were gathered round their blazing homes, to look once more into each other's face. Happy were those that dwelt within the eye of the volcanoes and their mountain torch. A fearful hope was all the world contained. Forests were set on fire, but hour by hour they fell and faded, and the crackling trunks extinguished with a crash, and all was black. The brows of men by the despairing light wore an unearthly aspect as by fits, the flashes fell upon them, some lay down and hid their eyes and wept, and some did rest, their chins upon their clenched hands and smiled, and others hurried to and fro, and fed their funeral piles with fuel, and looked up with mad disquietude on the dull sky, the pal of a past world, and then again with curses, cast them down upon the dust, and gnashed their teeth and howled. The wild birds shrieked, and terrified did flutter on the ground, and flap their useless wings. The wildest brutes came tame and tremulous, and vipers crawled and twined themselves among the multitude, hissing, but stingless. They were slain for food, and war, which for a moment was no more, did glut himself again. A mill was bought with blood, and each sate suddenly apart, gorging himself in gloom. No love was left, all earth was but one thought, and that was death.